There's this massive rock-like structure situated in the northern Alps of Japan that is quite popular among hiking enthusiasts. But it is not part of the 100 famous mountains or the Hyakumeza. Why is that? Well, because technically it is not a peak. It is just a huge rock formation. This is how I hike one of the most dangerous routes in Japan and for this episode, I'll share with you my experience climbing Jindama and Oku Hotaka. Jindama is a guard tower rock-like structure, or a pinnacle, guarding and watching over the Northern Alps, standing at 3,163 meters. Okuhotaka, on the other hand, is the third tallest peak in Japan, at 3,190 meters. This is an expert level route, which is perfect for hikers with advanced experience. I don't want to scare you, but people have perished or got severely injured trying to scale this mountain. That is why for this hike, I joined Kanto Adventures, an adventure tour group based in Japan, to get expert instructions while climbing this mountain. The idea is to hike fast and light, so for this hike, we will stay the night at Hotaka Sanso, a mountain hut in between Okohotaka and Karasawadake. The hike starts in Kamikochi, going all the way up to Tengu Skulwa, reaching the ridge and traversing both mountains on day one. It should take around 8 to 9 hours of climbing, scrambling and hiking. It's gonna be a tough day. Day two is going to be a long descent back to Kamikochi. To access Kamikochi very early in the morning, take a direct night bus service going to Kamikochi from Busta Shinjuku. Private vehicles can't enter Kamikochi, so you'll have to drive up to Sawando parking area and take a taxi or bus from there. From Kamikochi, we have to go up to Dakisawa. It should take at least two hours. From Dakisawa, the real oh, fun rock. begins. Oh. Going up the Tengu school wall requires a lot of strength, stamina, and high level of awareness because this area has a lot of loose rocks. Careful. When scrambling this section, we have to think about not only ourselves, but also about the other people and other groups who are just behind us. Fuck. Jesus, fuck. Narash! If you dislodge a loose rock, just shout rock or be sure yeah, to let me know oh. that something dangerous is falling down. After going up Tengu Skulwa, Jindama awaits. Going up to Jindama is one of the most exciting part of this trip. Spine chilling heights makes me feel cold sometimes, especially whenever I look down. I believe climbing Jindama is one of the most amazing feet I've ever done in Japan, and I'm really proud of it. I guess I'm down for another try in the future. <laughs> so yeah, Jindama is done, but the fun just doesn't end there. Next stop is Umanose. Umanose is intense. Since this is a guided tour, our trip leader set up a rope to secure us from imminent danger of falling. Although it's very doable without a rope for support, it's totally optional. Just be careful. The view of Jindama after you've done Umanose is one of a kind. Getting to Okohotaka should be very easy after all we've been through. Okuhotaka is the third tallest peak in the country. This is my second time climbing this mountain and all coming from dangerous route. I wish someday I could just chill and climb this mountain, set up a tent, enjoy the views and relax. Anyway, day one ended staying at Hotaka Sanso. This place is beautiful for sightseeing and relaxing after a long day of hiking.
Day two should be a relaxing hike. The first part of the hike is descending to Karasawa Kulwa. Karasawa Kul is one of the most famous tent cities in Japan. The second part is hiking back down to Kamikochi. Just a friendly reminder, hiking during the weekends, Kamikochi will be filled with tourists. One more thing is that other climbers going down Kamikochi will be on the trail as well. If you are a fast hiker, try to say sumimasen torimasu. Sumimasen torimasu. Or let them know you are behind them and trying to pass through. This route is not for beginners. If you are aiming to climb this mountain, be sure you have your mountain insurance ready, helmet, and climbing gloves. Learn the basic and advanced levels of scrambling, and I also recommend that you rehydrate every now and then. Eat snacks from time to time because both mountains are over 3,000 meters. They are hardcore peaks. Plus, anyone can get altitude sickness from this height, especially if you are going up the mountains way too fast. Jindama and Okohotaka is an action-filled adventure. If you are an advanced hiker, this route is definitely for you. Are you ready to conquer the tallest peaks in Hida Mountains? Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more hiking guides, tips, and inspiration. If you have questions about hiking and traveling in Japan, feel free to reach out. I'll see you in the mountains. Till next time.